Hello good people of Grammar and welcome to week nine at Grammar School. I'm here on the Junior School campus and I can't believe what an amazing term it's been and how quickly it has gone. In just a week and a half we'll all be off on that long awaited Easter break and school holidays where I'm sure there's lots of activities planned for our families. Let's go around the grounds and at senior school we've been doing a fair bit. Last week we had the TCE drama play which is a play called Eyes to the Front. It was a very confronting and challenging piece about institutional life for children in the mid-century of, of the 20th century. Uh, very well done to all the students. Our sporting teams have been competing in finals with our basketball Basketball Boys Open being runners up and also our second division tennis taking out the Northern Division Championship. We've had our school swimming carnival and in that event we had some standout swimmers. So our national swimmers, Isaac Chai, Abby King, Tilly Johnson, amazing performances on the day and lots of records tumbled. I'm joined today by Lisa Watson who is our assistant head of the junior campus and started with us in January this year. Hi Lisa, it's great to have you here. Lisa, you joined us in January this year and I'm sure you've had some initial impressions about grammar and junior school. Perhaps you'd like to share some of that with us. Yeah, absolutely. I think my first impression um, is just how wonderful the people are of grammar. The grammar community that I'd heard so much about, it's a pleasure to be part of that community. Um, we have some amazing teachers here at grammar and we I've do. also found the parents to be very welcoming um, and it's true, the grammar community is alive and strong. And as the assistant head of the junior school campus, what are your key responsibilities and the way in which you work with our families and their children? Yeah, my key responsibilities this term has been getting to know all of the children in, on the campus. A hard um, thing so to do. It, it has been, but I'm nearly there. Uh, so I've been spending time in classrooms, getting to know the children, looking at learning plans that are going on, the learning programs, um, helping teachers develop programs for the students in their class. Um, and then another part of my job is to assist Shona. Great. With the, yeah. the big job that she has here on the junior campus. And that's great, Lisa, because I think it's so important to have layers of support around our students, their families, but also our staff and the ways in which we do our program here at Absolutely. Grammar. We're known for our nurturing and caring and the well-being of the children being at the heart of all we do, but that takes a lot of frameworks and it just doesn't always happen naturally and it's important that we track every student and that we're aware of what's going on for them and the ways in which we might support them in their learning. Uh, in terms of your experiences, uh, what's one thing that you're really proud of in your career that you're able to bring to grammar? I think the thing that I'm the most proud of is the relationships that I can build with people, um, both students, staff and, and parents. Um, so I'm really proud of that. I'm also really proud in the, the work that I can do in the teaching and learning space. Um, to be able to help, help the teachers with their, the planning of their learning that they're doing for their students. Awesome. Our students have just done that plan in years, uh, grades three and five, and uh, how did they handle that experience? We had 100% participation rate, which we're really awesome. proud of here on the junior campus. Um, we were able to keep it like a normal day as much as we could for the students. We'd right. prepared them well, we'd done lots of practising. Um, so it was a pretty low key event here for us um, and the ch children and students handled it beautifully. Awesome. It's been a great morning here at Junior School Campus. You will have seen the students in the background. They're having a fun time and totally engaged in their school and their environment. Next week we have so much coming up. It'll be punctuated by two significant events. We'll have our annual Easter services. Uh, Year 6 are coming out to the chapel to join us for our, uh, their Easter service. And that's because we all then come together to welcome home our Year 12s who, after two days of effort, will have completed their strenuous 80 kilometre walk. So proud of them, so proud of the way in which they go about this annual event and really say, Grandma, giving back to the community is bigger than ourselves. And I really admire that in our young people.